Hey, it's your girl Yolanda and I'm here with another video. Hey ladies, we are going to be talking about this Yoni steam and basically what it did for me, if it did anything for me, if I would personally do it again, would I recommend it to friends and family? But before we get started, let me start with uh, this Shea Moisture Revive and Brighten Body Shop that I purchased from Ulta Beauty. It was something that I normally don't pick up because I'm like this, I'm like the DIY girl. I will do things at home before I will go and spend my money. But I had an extra, an extra few dollars and I went in Ulta Beauty and I was like, well, let me go ahead. Let me try something new for my body. I deserve it. I work hard just like you do. And we want to have vibrant skin during the fall winter months. And so I said, why not? I'm always doing something to my to my face. So why not me go ahead and try something new for my body? So let me just read what it says. It's by Shea Moisture. And if you know hair products and your sister, you probably got some Shea Moisture product in your hair right now. I know I do. The Shea Moisture Hibiscus, uh, what, coconut cream. So just bear with me. So this is has papaya and vitamin C with um, Yazoo lemon. And it's to revive and brighten it's Revive and Brighten Body Wash. So I'm all, all about brightening because the more brightening your, bright your skin is, no matter what complexion you are, it shows more clarity. So if you are a, you know, if you have fair skin, there's a brightness to fair skin. If you have chocolate, beautiful skin, there's a certain brightness that comes about with uh, chocolate skin also. So all skin can be brightened and when it's brightened, it looks more youthful. And also I feel, and I know if you are sloughing off dead skin, then all of the good things that you are putting into your skin are able to actually penetrate. So that's why I purchased this in the first place. So let me just read to you what it says as far as what it will do for you and what it's done for me so far. Yes, girl, I got to put these on as I can't see. So it says fresh, fruity and floral. Buff away dull complexions and make room for glowing skin with this brightening body wash. This formula with papaya extract vitamin C and yuzu lemon gently cleanses. I said that wrong in the beginning. My bad. And it gently cleans, cleanses and removes dirt without stripping away skin's moisture, making it ideal for ideal for daily use. Gentle exfoliants help with skin turnover, revealing a more polished and even complexion. How to use, apply to a washcloth or hands and work into a gentle lather, cleanse entire body. So let me just, I know you guys want to hear about the Yoni steam, but let me get into this because I told myself if I'm going to do a Yoni steam, I'm going to also revive my skin. So I'm just going to make it a day in reviving skin all over my body, right? So we want the best for ourselves. So I went ahead and I used this and let me just give you my thoughts on the scent. Okay. Now it has a little lemon scent to it, like it says, but it does have the papaya in there. And I'm not really sure if I like papaya. So just note that if you are not a fan of papaya or you just want to get to know if papaya is for you, go ahead and try this. I can say it feels really great on my skin, but one of the downfalls I have is that 
Once I use the papaya and I leave the bathroom, it's something about the papaya in the air that I just don't like. So that's just me though. And also I found that um, it leaves a sort of a residue in the tub once I take a bath. So washing it out uh, is extra work. Um, I'm a bath girl and you may be a bath girl. So if so, just note that's what this does. If you're a shower girl, it's still going to do the same thing. That residue is going to be there. So just note about this particular product. Don't get me wrong. I probably will buy it again. It was a great price and it was probably under $12. So, you know, when something's a great price, I always like to keep it in my arsenal. So just note this on the papaya. I'll have everything linked below. Okay. So I don't want you to miss out on any of the extra information that I may have missed for you. So let's get down to what you're really here for. It's the Yoni steam. So let me grab that. So I got the Yoni Steam off of Am Amazon. I got, this is the Yoni Steam, and this is not, I guess it's not the fancy one that the commercials are on, but it was, it's made by a doctor. So I purchased it because it was a great price, and it all to me is the same. It's like a potpourri, period. So I was like, well, let me try this. So, um, of course you can't use this when you're on your period. Um, there's no possible way you could use this being on your period because you just can't use this because you're, when you're on your period. So I woke up, let me just keep it real. I woke up this morning. I said, you know what? It's Yoni time period. It's Yoni time. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. Let me get my little African dress on and let me do this. And you know, I was looking crazy. So you may see a picture inserted. I was looking crazy, but that's okay. So I said to myself, I'm going to do this Yoni Steve. And then I'm going to read my, pr my prayer book. And then I'm going to do my affirmations. And I'm just going to be as one, right? Ah! So. I boil the hell out of my water, right? Girl, I boil that water. And let me tell you, I sat down and I only put a little bit of the Yoni, um, of the uh, Yoni uh, potpourri in this, you know, section here, just a little bit. I boiled my water and I filled it up to about right, you know, right, this level about right here, because I was like, I want to get the full effects of all of these leaves and, 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 and rubbish that's in here. Okay. I want to get the full effect. So I know you want to hear more, but let me tell you what is in here first. Okay. So we have the candula flowers and that is for healing yeah healing the vajayjay and what's all up inside of it right then we have mother worth and it contains lurin found to promote the relaxation of blood vessels walls blood vessel walls to assist as a promoter of menstruation to help with childbearing Okay, so note that. And then we have the mug wart, and that is to help us with our cramps. Now that's something that I'm going to see if that helps your girl out with her cramps because I wasn't doing so well last week. So, and then it also has the red raspberry leaf and that is fertility. I'm not in that stage right now, but that's what it says. Just note. Okay. And then let's move on because, you know, some of you are still in your fertile 
years and you know things aren't happening the way you want them to so just note that even if you make your own yoni um steam you can concentrate on these particular herbs okay and then do your research you know i'm here all about research i want to know what you know i want to make it all better that's what I'm here for. I have fun doing this. And also I get so educated myself. Every time I open up new information, I find new information and newer information and newer information. And then I just wanna get on camera and just share it with you. So forgive me with my excitement, but I do, I do really get excited about this stuff. So let's move on. So then it also has rosemary. Now rosemary not only is um, an anti, it has an antibacterial uh, properties and it can also benef be beneficial treating yeast infections and it balances your hormone hormones and it can it can help you with blood clotting if you're having any blood clotting in when you are on your period. So just note that. So you can concentrate on certain things when it comes to these herbs. Um, so try this. It also has red, uh, red rose petals in it. I really didn't find out what that was for, but I felt that it was maybe more for fragrance. I'm not sure. So let's get back to the Yoni steam that I purchased. Now, when I opened this, I wasn't big on the scent at all. It didn't smell like that's what I wanted to smell like, but I went with it. So let me tell you what this particular packet says as far as what you're supposed to do as far as setting up. And then I'm going to tell you what your girl went through. Okay. So set up, put music on if you like, or grab your favorite book, light candles, or make a cup of tea to enjoy while you are steaming. Be sure to have a blanket nearby and warm socks for your feet. So, and then it also says carefully pour the simmering water into your heat safe basin. Then place the basin below where you will sit sit comfortable above the basin with your yoni exposed to the steam basically wrap yourself in a towel or keep the steam contained some way somehow the steam should feel warm but please adjust it if at any time it feels too hot once you are settled enjoy 30 minutes of self care now, let me tell you something that it does say. Do not conduct a yoni steam if you are actively menstruating, pregnant, or if you have an IUD. So that is to be concerned with if you follow under any of this, these uh, cautionary um, instructions. So do keep that in mind, okay? Instructions are there for a reason. So let me tell you about your girl. Also, just to note, when you are placing this on your toilet, um, this part right here, make sure you sit really far back so you don't rock your basin because you don't want it to spill over and may burn inside of your inner thighs. So do keep, um, keep a watch on that when you sit down and sit back. Okay. So your girl got a call here. So your girl was, I, so I poured, I put the hot water inside of the, of the, uh, of the herbs. I covered it with a towel while I put on my, uh, my moo moo, right? So wh what is going on? Come on now. So once I put on my, um, my, uh, my moo moo, so I put the moo moo on and it was covered. The, uh, basin was covered with a towel to keep the heat in. 
So then I was like, well, let me get my affirmation book already on the page that I want, because that's mainly when I read my affirmation and my prayers is when I go in the bathroom. That seems to be the only time that I really sit down and really take it all in. You know, there's just places that you go in your house or apartment where you find, you know, serenity. Okay. So I'm in there. So I, I lift up the towel and I let it sort of like the steam kind of like go out. And then, you know, I have my moo on and then I have my page all ready for my a prayer, my prayer book. And this is prayers and promises for the healing by jo Joan Hunter. So, so I have my page all open and then I go ahead and I sit down. So I sit and have my moo moo all out and I'm, I'm sitting, I'm like, okay, kind of open up really wide, make sure it all goes in there. And then I was like, damn, I gotta pee. <laughs> so now I gotta get up, put the, put the basin up, use the potty. Then I have to do all that and put the basin down. Then I go back and I'm like, okay, all right. Damn, it was so hot. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't read the instructions though. See, that's what you, that's why you need to read instructions. So of course I had to let most of the steam go out so it wouldn't attack my yoni anymore. I don't want to have burns trying to have a fresh yoni or whatever else it's going to do to help me with my cramps, right? So I sit there for 30 minutes. I read my affirmations and it was very, it was, there was nothing like really special about what was happening. So I'm not going to put, you know, more on it. But I can say for myself that it was something that I will do again. And I'd love to share with you my experience and I will see if there's a change. See, my change is more with my cramps and helping me through my periods. So if I do see a change, if I feel a change, or once I do it again, I'll get back and let you guys know what else has happened as far as negatives or positives. So, you know, like always, I appreciate being here and talking to you and I'll see you another time. Bye.